All right, we're very pleased to now uh, welcome to the program former Expo. Uh, again, you can follow him on twitter.com slash slugger6177. It's Brad Wilkerson. Brad, thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks, guys, for having me. Good to be back on. Now, uh, obviously, it's been a, a few years since I'm sure you've been here in, in, in Montreal. Have you been uh, following uh, the storylines the last few years? And, uh, and how does that, uh, how does that uh, been making you feel? Well, it, it, it's, it's good to follow. I think it's been exciting for the city of Montreal to see this, you know, maybe come to fruition pretty soon. Um, very excited for the city of Montreal. I know when I exited in 2004, it was a, you know, I, I said this, it's a major league city and they deserve a major league baseball team. And hopefully it'll work out for the city because it is, you know, like I said, a great baseball city and a great place to play. Brad, you had your best years here in Montreal. Um, what what was it about uh, the city that uh, that made you thrive? Well, I think just you know the friendships. I I, I was young. I, I gained a lot of friendships there in the city, and a lot of relationships that I still have throughout the city of Montreal that I keep contact with. And you know, it, it was just one of those things. I mean, I was young. I, I didn't really pay attention to all the bad stuff they were saying about the expos and are we moving are we doing this i just went out and played baseball and i really am thankful that i got to spend those five years in montreal the uh the 03 season obviously was uh was the best year for the fans perspective anyway it seemed like a lot of the fans were were coming back after so many things that had happened to the fan base and um you guys had such a great summer that year and it, it kind of fell apart a little bit in september without a little bit of backup from from some of the the, the call-ups but uh how exciting was it as the fans were coming back to the ballpark and you guys were uh, right there in that uh, playoff chase it was amazing. I mean, we had a ball club that went out there every day and played hard, and we didn't make excuses whether we're going to Puerto Rico or not. We just went out there and played the game hard, and I think our fans respected that, and they came out and supported us. And, you know, we were a winner. Obviously, it didn't work out the way we wanted to, but, you know, that was a season I remember the rest of my life, and we talked about that all the time. It was a, It was an enjoyable season. Did you happen to uh, catch the uh, the preseason uh, ceremonies this year uh, back in April, where your former teammates uh, Cabrera and, and Guerrero were honored on the field? I was I was following them on Twitter. I was seeing the updates, and it was you know I talked to Orlando probably about you know a couple months before that happened, and just exciting to you know hear an ex player that you played with and hear his voice. But I know he was excited about going back to Montreal, and I heard it was a unbelievable experience i heard it was unbelievable last year and i'm just happy for the city of montreal to be able to see baseball again what was uh, some of your personal favorites or highlights of uh, playing here I, I just think just bringing the fans back into it you know in that 03 season we had you know in my opinion the best player i played with personally was vladimir guerrero and get to play beside him and bring those fans back to the stadium and excitement and how people don't understand unless you're there how loud it can get in the big O. I mean, it was it was very loud. Even if we only had twenty thousand people at the game, it was very loud. And those seats get, you know, those metal seats get booming and echoing, and it was exciting. Chatting with Brad Wilkerson, former Montreal Expo. Uh, Brad, you were a first round pick by the Expos uh, in the '98 Amateur Draft. Um, obviously, not the marquee organization in in Major League Baseball. What were you thinking at the time? Was it a a bit of disappointment, or uh, how did you receive that? I I didn't look at it as a disappointment at all. I felt like it was a system that I could get into. They've been known for developing players. And I wanted to get in that system and be involved in that system and learn in that system. They had such a great coaching staff and instructional staff at the minor league level. I was excited. I knew I, if I did what I was supposed to do, I'd move through the system quick and I'd get the big leagues quick. And, you know, that's the way I approached it. And I think that's what I got rewarded with. I moved pretty quick through the system and I did what I was supposed to do. I didn't look at it as a negative at all. A lot, a lot of people refer to you as the last expo because of the fact that you wore the uniform in November of '04 after the team had announced they weren't going to be back for '05. They were moving to Washington. You end up playing with a, a, a team of Major League Baseball players in Japan wearing the expo uniform in November uh, a couple of months later. Uh, how how was that? Was it a weird situation? It was kind of weird. I mean, I, I feel honored and privileged to be able to say I was the 
to this point, I was the last person to wear that Expos uniform, and I was happy, you know, so happy to represent such a great city. And, it, you know, actually a baseball tradition. I mean, not winning World Series per se, but the great players that have come through the system and played in Montreal, and Jackie Robinson played in Montreal, and all these different people. You know, I felt honored to be a part of that and just be mentioned with those names. What was it? Uh, what was it like moving to Washington and being a part of a, 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 the birth of a franchise, which of course people want to see happen here in, in a few years? So, two thousand five, you had a uh, one hundred and forty eight games played with the with the Washington Nationals and uh, in a brand new uh, city. Well, I think everybody was excited. Just you know, not so much to believe the city of Montreal, just to go to the city of Washington and excitement being a new franchise, people being excited about bringing players there. It was a great year to be a part of a team like that and be the inaugural season of Washington and Frank Robinson being our manager and all those great things that happened. But it was kind of disappointing in a way for me because I spent my first five years at Montreal and I was kind of disappointed at that. So it was a, you know, it was kind of a situation where, you know, I was upset that we were leaving Montreal, but it was also a good situation that we were opening a new franchise and had a good time that year in Washington. Fans want to know, what are you up to now? Well, I'm down here in Florida. I basically live where, you know, when I signed with Montreal, uh, training down in Palm Beach, Florida, I basically have stayed down here since 1998 when I got drafted. And now I'm starting to get back into a little coaching and, you know, looking forward to getting back in the game. I've been raising some kids for the last four or five years after retirement. But right now I'm trying to get back in the game. I've been coaching a little high school team down here and a couple of travel ball summer teams. So I'm going to get back into coaching pretty seriously soon. All right. Any, any, uh, any expo merchandise for the kids? Definitely. They got some stuff. I mean, they, they see all the jerseys hanging on my wall at home. And, you know, my son asked me questions all the time, what it was like. And, you know, he, he loves the game of baseball and, uh, I tell him stories all the time. So I'm fortunate to have a son that loves baseball Probably more than I do. <laughs> All right. Now, the, the, and the last question I have for you is uh, people have been asking because there's always events and things that are happening here in the city and in the region. I, I'm getting requests because of my, my uh, affiliation with our, our nonprofit fan group, Expos Nation, but requests from Ottawa, where, of course, you played for the Lynx as well. Uh, you know, where's Brad Wilkerson? How can we get in touch with him? Can we bring him up for an event? Are, are you interested? Are you excited? Are you uh, curious about what the opportunities are maybe to come back for a day or two in Montreal if, I think, if asked I, I think that would be unbelievable for me to come back I've always wanted to come back I think you know my schedule's been pretty busy with me coaching in the spring and you know the timing of the Montreal thing this year and last year it just didn't work out timing wise but I'm definitely looking forward to that day where I can come back and spend some time in the city of Montreal and bring back some memories to those fans that really supported us and brought us to and helped us get through a long season. So I'm really looking forward to that day when that can happen. And maybe uh, maybe coaching uh, first or third base in a downtown stadium in a few years, outdoors? <laughs> that would be surreal. I mean, that would, that would be too surreal for me. I mean, I, I envision that. I've imagined that, you know, playing in a downtown stadium. But actually, at this point, coaching in a downtown stadium would be unbelievable for not only myself, but for the city of Montreal. I mean, I live downtown Montreal, and, I can see what it can it can be. So I, I'm looking forward to that day, and I'm hoping it's going to happen. Did you have any uh, favorite restaurants? Uh, I had a bunch. I mean, I spent a lot of time at Expectations for breakfast, you know, yep. different stuff like that. But there there was a, a Italian restaurant that I loved in Old Montreal that I used to go to all the time. And um, gosh dang, I forget the other one right there on right down by my apartment, but. You know, there were so many great places to go and so many great people to meet. I mean, it was it was an unbelievable time for me. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time today. And uh, again, if uh, if people want to follow Brad on Twitter, he's uh, he's ramping up his uh, his usage there. Slugger six one seven seven. Brad, thanks so much for the time today. Really appreciate it. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.